Well, I've got a slight issue today in the PTI lab, and I thought I'd bring you along to, uh, to see how I fix it. Um, this is a 555 timer circuit I'm working on. I need to blink an LED at a one second interval. It's not important. It just needs to sit there and blink. So throw a 555 timer at it, right? A simple circuit to do. The problem I have is I don't have the proper resistor value. So I need a 100,000 um, ohm resistor. Uh, I've already got the right um, R1 resistor and the right C1 capacitor value, but I don't have a 100,000 ohm resistor um, in a through hall. I've looked all around the lab, couldn't find one. But what I do have is these SMD resistors. And normally in this situation, what I will do is I will make my own through hole resistor out of an SMD resistor. And I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube about that, so I thought I would take you along today here in the lab and I'll show you how I do this uh, whenever I'm breadboarding something up if I have the SMD value but I do not have the THT value. And I'm going to take one of these and turn it into one of these. So let's get started. So this is my process to turn this into a through hole. So the first thing that I do is I get a vise out. So I'm going to put tweezers in the vise just like this. That way when I uh, rotate it closed, it will squeeze the um, tweezers tight. Now you need to be careful about that. You don't want to put more pressure on this um, and bend your tweezers in. You want to be careful about that. But I'll get a, a component out here. This is a 1206 um, 100,000 ohm resistor. So I'll just get one out just like so. And then I will take it and I will place it into the jaws of the tweezers just like this. And so that holds that just nicely. Remember, don't clamp these down too much. So now I have the resistor held like this. So then I will take a sacrificial through hole resistor like this one, and I'm going to cut the legs off of it and solder them to this. So let me bring you in closer and we'll get, uh, get started on that. Okay, so I'm going to take this and rotate it around so it will be easier uh, to solder. Also, I see that the, the resistor is a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it like this, loosen the jaws up just a little bit, and then scoot it over, and then tighten the jaws back up. There we are right there. Hope. There we are right there and tighten the jaws back up. So there we go. So my, my plan is we're going to solder legs on each end of this resistor. So let's get these legs clipped off of this guy right here. One little tip when you're clipping legs off of a component so they don't go flying, grab, grab one end like this and one end like this, like this, and so that way your leaves don't go flying. So put this end down, and then when you go to clip it, grab, grab like that, and your leaves won't go flying. So let's get these soldered up. Now, you can do what you want. My my thoughts for this type of process is the bigger the glob, the better the job for, for something like this. Um, now I am soldering this around a camera, so please, please bear with me here because I can I can only see as good as the camera lets me see. Um, so bear with me as I as I struggle to do this. Normally it's not this hard, but around a camera, it's quite difficult. So there's that one, and then we'll do this other one. And there we go. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Okay, so we're on the test bench. One thing I am going to do is trim these uh, trim these leads off to where they're even. And then let's get this inserted. It goes between pins 7 and 6. So let's be very careful. Remember, these are just held on by, by solder joints. So you need to be, be very, very careful. There we go. Okay. Now let's turn on the power supply and see if she works.
You'll have to forgive the jump. I had the LED in backwards. I never remember which way an LED goes, but just like that, it's blinking at, I don't know, around a one second interval, all because I was able to make a uh, through-hole resistor out of an SMD component. So hopefully that showed you something neat. Uh, please like and share and subscribe this if you thought this was neat. I thought it was neat. So um, just a little tip for you there when you're designing stuff, if you don't have the component in THT and you have it in, in an SMD, you can sometimes make your own through-hole components.